Yeah, part of Oakwood. Okay, but, yeah. Mike, you want to switch that for me real quick? Yeah, it's uh, Mike Melindy from Rolling Up. Rolling out. Rolling out. Rolling up a little Duval. I see you smoking good, yeah, too. Try, I'm trying to be like you, you man. You smoking good. I'm okay. Trying to be like you. It's, a, it's an appropriate situation. Mm -hmm. You know what I'm saying? So, first of all, man, this movie, one thing I love about it, it just it felt organic in so many ways because it didn't feel forced. Mm -hmm. Like, a lot of people try to, like, do too much with movies. So, talk about just how the timing and everything kind of came together for you in this film. I mean, the timing was everything. Even when it came out, the timing was right because it's coming out on 420, which is perfect of course. for a weed movie. And I mean, it just was cool. Like, Pooh, everybody, the, and even with D-Ray, like D-Ray knew know my comedy and I know his comedy, so it was easy to, to go back and forth off of each other. So it was really organic. Like, it was one of the funnest movies I've ever done. We want to get our medical marijuana car. So, are you together? Yeah, we here together. Who's the fan? It's you, right? No. Hell no. He had an incident when he was little, though. So. I mean, talk a little bit about that because I feel like you've been very patient, you know, in your career. You could have done this a long time ago. You could have been in a lot of movies, but mm -hmm. it seems like the timing is right for you to kind of just execute. Because I don't try to rush things because I feel like when you rush things, that's when you end up doing the wrong things, you know? Like, well, where I got to this level, it ain't what I did, it's what I didn't do. You know what I'm saying? I try to tell people that all the time, you got to watch what you do. Right. You know what I'm saying? So it was the same thing with that. Like, I don't do nothing I don't really want to do. And, I, and that's the best, I feel like that's the best thing you could ever want as an entertainer. Right. You know what I'm saying? It's like independent. For sure. I do what I want to do. Absolutely. Yeah. I think that crosses over not just entertainment, but to your real life. Cause, yeah. You know, I follow you on a lot of your social media snaps, and you just seem to live life in a way that it just inspires people, whether you're traveling or And that's the whole places. point of it. Like, I try to be the example that I want to, like, be the change I want to see. Absolutely. And lead by example. You know For what I'm sure. saying? So if I feel like... People are doing stuff and such and such and such. I feel like, all right, let me give them away because you can say this, but you got to show them. You know what I'm saying? Like if I go scuba dive or something, it's a way to show you. Like you could do something with your money besides just go to the clubs right. and stuff. You can have fun. There's other ways to have fun. The only reason we do certain things is because that's what we see that's fun. But if you see somebody that you can identify that looks like you or that <laughs> or that comes from where you come from and they look like they're having fun, that makes you want to do it. Yeah, you know? no doubt. That's that's the only thing. That's the only reason I do something like that, even on social media or even the way I live and the way I walk. For sure, for you sure. Know? So you talk about this, you know, your your your, your co-star here. Okay, okay. Because this, is, you know, this is a pretty um, mm -hmm. individual. I I know you have. This is that abracadabra. This is that. That's that abracadabra. Oh that's, yeah. It's it's exclusive. Oh, yeah, it's DJ Pooh. Ooh wee. Oh yeah, DJ Pooh, best you with that. Yeah, he it, ain't nobody got it. He <laughs> gave it to me. So talk about what you learned in the Bay Area. I know you spent a lot of time in the Bay. Mm -hmm. Burner might have, you know, shows you a thing or two. But shout I mean, out to Burner. Yeah. Shout out to that boy Dame. He always showed me love. Whenever I'm out there, that boy Dame hold it down for me. No, for sure, man. So I mean, what is what, what was your most memorable experience about the Bay? What makes you just love that place so much? Cause they cool. Like everybody cool. Even the the women are cool. They ain't stuck up. Right. You know what I'm saying? Like it's just it's it's almost like. I should be chilling there too. Like everybody, they embraced me even before I was like Duval now. They always showed me love in the Bay. That's why I had to do a screening there. I told them we can't we can't do a movie about weed and not do a screening in the Bay. Absolutely. That's why I did it on my own and said, hey, look, we're gonna go out here, we're gonna go to the dispensary and chill and let them smoke and watch it and get their opinion on it. Because if their opinion, because y'all know about it. You know what I'm saying? Like, y'all know more than I do. Because I just started smoking weed to be real with you. But, so I was like, if, if I value y'all opinion because I know y'all know more about it than I do. So when I got the stamp of approval from the Bay, I said, I'm good. For I sure. know this is going to be a good For group. sure. You say you just started smoking not too long ago. Mm -hmm. What's been some of the, you know, most, your favorite munchies, I should say, that you enjoy eating the most when you, like, you find yourself? Fruit. I love fruit. You know, I'm not even an eater like that, for real, for real. But fruit. Chips, snacks, oatmeal, cookies, pretty much anything. When I smoke, I can damn near eat anything. You know what I'm saying? Like if, like if I was ever to do a, a bizarre foods show, yeah, I have to be high because I eat anything <laughs> for sure, uh, you including know, pussy. <laughs> <laughs> Oh man, uh, what's one thing you know? I love I love seeing you know the whole movement with Grand Hustle to switch gears a little bit. Mm -hmm. Ti's got a brand new you know crew of, of artists Hustle coming gang. out. So I mean, talk about that and just you know the, the the longevity that goes into not only a career like yourself, but you seeing Ti and his whole business plan. Like the what's key that like? to it, he got talent. It's, it's just 
There's no way around it. He got talent. You can't deny talent. That's what he got, and he can see talent. And that's what he brings over there to the Hustle Gang. Everybody's over there talented. And I've seen it from day one just to see how he does his thing and, and move and and you know what he's doing. I mean, because everybody he's touched been doing their thing. Iggy, yeah. P.O.B., I mean, Young Dro. So, I mean, sure. everybody he touches does his thing, so Trans you know what he's doing. A whole bunch of folks. Yeah, dude. Trans Lee. No doubt, no doubt. Uh, switch again, I think he just threw me the one last question, but you obviously had a chance to work with Snoop Dogg. Uh -huh. I mean, was there any impression or something about him and what you've seen over the years, how he's kind of just had that long-term brand? Like, what did you learn from him? Well, one thing I learned from him, like, you don't, like, Snoop is, it ain't even arguable, he's one of the biggest hip hop names in the world. And the fact that he's like that, he's so down to earth and cool, it kind of lets me know I don't have to be Hollywood to be to be known and recognized. Cause he, like, if you ain't know it was Snoop, you'll be you'll be done forgot, cause he's so cool. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? So sure. I mean, like, it don't make no sense for somebody to be Hollywood or be so stuck up because of what they done. Cause he's done more than probably everybody that's that you can think of. He's still cool. No doubt, no doubt. I, mean, I think you got a lot of similar attributes, man. People love you, and you still always stay down to earth. So keep doing what you're doing, man. We'll keep I appreciate him. Good looking. All right. I could at least got mix a lot money, sir. Mix a lot. Mix a lot. Still eating off ass. Eating ass. Eating off ass. Oh. I like big butts, and I cannot lie. What the fuck is that? This how I gotta catch up with you. Play up. I can't keep giving you money. I mean, I feel bad I'll for- i roll this motherfucker into your ass. So what do we do? Money don't grow on trees? Wait, that's it? What, what, what? We, we, just... we grow on trees. trees. I'm talking about a grow house. Step one, get our medical marijuana card. So, are you together? Yeah, we here together. Who's the fan? It's you, right? Hell no. He had an incident when he was little, though. Step two, get like a small business loan or something. I'm looking to get a little uh, seed money to get my business seed off the ground. Some seed money. Love it. As the business grows, <laughs> we can pay back. That's a good one. You killed me with that. Good luck on that. We need somebody that got money we can pay back and we... I know who we can get. Who? Snoop, what's up, boy? <laughs> How much you need? Ten? Ten thousand dollars? Yeah, I mean... Snoop. I thought y'all was gonna ask for like 50 racks. 50,000? Hell yeah! No, no, no! Hell yeah! No. Okay, we got money. Step number three, location. Here are the keys. Step four, Ooh. get to know your neighbors. <laughs> Here we go. What the hell is going on? Terry don't know. You wasn't gonna cut me in? What's that smell? I'll spray the bug spray on it. The plants are ruined. I'm disappointed with you. Oh! I'm gonna call the cops! Is your friend okay? Oh, yeah. They in love. They been arguing all day. He just laid out on the ground. He's like, I don't want to talk to you. Hi, Snoop. Hello, no sunshine. <laughs> Hi, Snoop. What? Just say Walmart. You don't need no reader. I do not like black people. What the? I love black people. What is, what, hey, hey, hey. The hell she want? This dick. Grow house. Now why the fuck I ain't think of that?